Today's little project is a TV that, to all intents and purposes, works. It's a Vivo. Vivo! 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 Las Vegas! LTV 42 FHD. When you turn it on, there's a side panel control. Alright. Okay, so it flashes. So basically that's what's happening. So what I'm going to see is if you press the menu button, so the menu is flashing as well as the screen behind it. So this is um, potentially an opportunity to, to do a, a reflow. I've never done one before on a TV. I've read all about them. Um, so I'm going to try and reflow the main board and, uh, or the, um, the T-Con and See if I can get this TV uh, fixed. So even with the uh, brightness turned all the way down and the contrast turned all the way down, uh, it's um, the, the picture is horrible. It, it's still flashing. The picture up, the brightness up, the flashing does get worse. And the contrast, and it gets absolutely horrible. Stink the house out with some melted plastic, wipes away, so that, that should work well. Perfect crime. All right, so we've got our main power supply. Um, very, very hard to know. I mean, the caps all look fine. Very hard to know until you interrogate it. Got the uh, got the main board over here, and then got our our T-Con board. A uh, bit of an unusual setup. Look, previous owners thoughtfully left some grass clippings in here. Uh, oh, sorry, maybe that's the T-Con and that's some some secondary board. I'm not sure. So. I'm just going to see which one of these um, is the one to take out to reflow. Okay, so after a bit of um, bit of homework, the the main board here, because the whole uh, picture is flickering, uh, including the menu. If it was the menu, if the menu was stable, but the picture behind was flickering, it would probably be the main board, which has got the tuner built into it there. But because it's uh, the whole screen is is flickering. It's either this subboard or it's the T-Con. So I'm going to reflow this one and this one. I'll take the screws off and, and show you the model numbers. Now this is going to melt in the oven, so I'm just slicing this off very, very gently with a blade to reuse it. Now you note this model has uh, an LG display, so the parts that I've taken off is, um, that's the, the part number there, and there we go, another reference there, LG display, and there's another part number there, um, and on the T-Con, there is the part number there. Okay, whack them in the oven at 200 degrees, see how I go. So I've got these uh, in a medium oven tray and on some baking paper, because we are baking. And I'm just going to whack a little bit of uh, foil over the top just to stop them from direct radiant heat. And then we should be good to go once the oven heats up. Okay, moment of truth. Yep, electronics in the oven part one. Okay, set the controls for the heart of the sun, said Pink Floyd. Alrighty, ten minutes later, moment of truth. Woo! Nice and hot, I'm gonna let that cool down. Now one thing I've noticed is that these uh, Looks like they're uh, 680 microfarad, 35 volt um, uh, capacitors. They look like they're a tiny bit bulged, so but they all look the same now. I don't know if that's heat effect from the oven or what it is. All right, now for the T-Con board.
Right, so, uh, moment of truth. Let it cool down. Uh, got power, just flick that on around the side. Okay. And got a little red LED. Okay. Now I'm going to spin this around because the TV is upside down on the garage floor. See what happens. Whoa! That is absolutely not good. Wow. So I have properly stuffed this TV. That looks like actually like a, a connection problem, but I can still see the flickering is um, is behind it. Now I've had another go at this. I've, you can still see it's flickering. All I did was uh, pull the um, ribbon cables out of the T-Con and plugged them back in. Now you can still see here, it may sync with the um, 50, hertz, 50 cycles of the camera, but it is flickering. And what I can hear if I turn the volume down is this board is uh, flickering at the same frequency as the backlight uh, pulsing. So I might next step might be to pull those caps out so, and um, uh, see if they're stuffed. Reflying? No, that's an absolute fail. Oh well.